Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is all set to start talks with Russia for Super Shukhoi upgrade, for which it will seek blanket permission from Shukhoi Corporation to carry out upgrades on 150 Su-30 fighter jets of Indian Air Force with Indian-made equipment and systems. The Indian Air Force is interested to equip new engines on the Su-30, and Russia is keen that the Indian Super Shukhoi upgrade program should include Russian systems and equipment that are part of the Su-30 SM-2 upgrade, that includes swapping the older 122.5 kN AL-31F engine with the new powerful AL-41F1S engine, that can generate 137.3 kN thrust with afterburner, and 142.2 kN in case of an emergency. The AL-41F1S engine offers better specific fuel consumption, improved endurance, and has an increased overhaul life of 4,000 flight hours. We had reported yesterday, that the Indian Navy has extended the lease of the two Sea Guardian drones from US firm General Atomics until June 2024, and as per latest information, the Indian Navy might go ahead and lease two more MQ-9B drones till the larger deal for 20 drones is concluded. The Indian Navy is highly impressed with its performance, while the Indian Army and Air Force are not keen on the purchase due to high procurement costs. The Brahmos Corporation stall at Vietnam International Defense Expo 2022 was abuzz with delegates and top military advisors and military officials from the Vietnam Air Force that were keen on learning more about the Brahmos air-launched supersonic cruise missile. India has pitched 450 km range Brahmos air-launched variant to Vietnam, which operates 35 Su-30 and 22 Su-27 fighter jets. Hindustan Aeronautics and Brahmos Aerospace have jointly offered conversions of the Su-30 aircraft with hardened airframes to support the Brahmos air-launched variant, and also full support in the integration of the missile system on the aircraft. The RDO's Instruments Research and Development Establishment is developing a next-generation targeting pod, that will have the capability to designate targets at long ranges in both air-to-ground and air-to-air -air missions. Two prototypes will be ready in the next 15 months for testing, and once fully developed, the next-generation targeting pod will replace the Israeli Lightning 5 targeting pods from all frontline fighter jets. A lighter variant of the next generation targeting pod is also being developed, that will be integrated on the Archer armed UAV. The Defense Ministry is all set to grant acceptance of necessity for the acquisition of 9 C-295 maritime aircraft for Navy and 6 aircraft for the Coast Guard. Airbus Defense will modify the initial batch of aircraft for maritime requirements and the rest will be manufactured at the Tartu Airbus facility in Gujarat, while the DRDO will execute the overall project to equip them with multi-mode radars, electro-optic cameras and sonar buoys. The Minister of State for Defence has said, that 30 airfields of the Indian Air Force have been upgraded under the first phase of airfield modernization project. And now the second phase of airfield modernization project has started, under which 37 airfields will be upgraded by Tata Power SEO under a contract worth 1,187 crore rupees.